if you love flowers, you will love Monteverde. On the mountains and in the forest itself, tons of great things to see. Slow down and capture some of these beautiful flowers. You can pick up a guide or afterwards look up the types of images that you captured and easily find them online. But within Monteverde, there was a museum dedicated to orchids. In the Monteverde region, there are over 420 unique orchids to that region, and these are great to shoot. When we visited this garden, I loved the flowers that we had. They took care of them and had tons of varieties easy to see. It was a really rich target environment. Now, the owners of this particular garden were fine with bringing in a tripod. I also recommend that if you're going to go out and shoot flowers, bring that tripod. Additionally, I brought a macro lens specifically to shoot flowers. This allowed me to get really close and to get great details. I was able to keep the whole flower in critical focus or adjust my aperture to work with great depth of field effects. Using the macro lens off of a solid platform is the key to getting the shot. Additionally, these flowers may be in heavily shaded environments. The garden that we went to definitely had a lot of light obstruction and we made it there later in the evening. But as I traveled through the forest and found great things, it was very common to see great looking material, but not much light. I did bring a flash with me and would often use it, but rather than hitting the subject very hard, I would make sure it was diffused. Now, you could bring diffusers for your flash, or maybe you already have one, or even go as simple as just shooting through a piece of white paper or a piece of fabric like a t-shirt. Sometimes I would shoot into my hand and cup it and let it bounce back or use my phone with its flashlight and again, cup the light into my hand so it would be more diffused. Consider adding light to really bring those flowers out, but make sure you do it in a way that's gentle and diffused. One of the things I really liked with bringing out the details of the flower was to shoot them with an HDR type technique. Now, I didn't actually capture multiple exposures, rather I slightly underexposed with the raw file. Then I would do a single pass HDR toning. This worked with the raw file and pulled out more details and then allowed me to blend it together. You can even do some of this just with Adobe Camera Raw in Lightroom by pulling the highlights or the shadow sliders in opposite directions and adding in some clarity. 